Hi, I'm Sophie and Sam. I'm Kira Judge. I'm Eva Hickey, and we're from Ireland. And our project is a statistical investigation of the effects of diets for bacteria on plant germination. So we got the idea for our project when Eva Hickey was uh, planting with her mum. They were planting pea plants and they saw that on the roots of their plants there were these nodules. We did a bit of research into this and found that, these, that there is a type of bacteria called Rhizobium which only worked with legume plants. And we decided to use that bacteria on non legume plants. So we did a bit of research about how this bacteria works and we found that it fits with the nitrogen in the soil into um, ammonia and other nutrients for the plants. So we decided to use these uh, use this bacteria on plants that it wouldn't usually associate with and bring it back to the germination stage. And um, we did loads of experiments over about the 11 month period. Uh, we tested nearly 10,000 seeds and took um, over 120,000 manual readings. And our experimental method, uh, we started by doing an initial test to see the conditions that would be necessary to germinate our seeds in. And we found that dark conditions were better than the light. We did some germination experiments where we found we, um, we inoculated our seeds with the bacteria that we were using and we also used water as a control and we found these results that the blue line here if you can see is water and these are statistical tests that we analysed to check our data and we found that in some cases we could actually decrease the germination time by 50% which is quite a, a substantial decrease. We wanted to find out how this was happening, so we looked into <laughs> alpha amylase and the maltose levels in these seeds. Um, so we did a few tests with a company called Megazyme, which helped us find out why this was happening. Um, we then moved on to growing off our seeds to see what, if they would affect the seeds when they were grown. Um, we, kept, we grew seeds in fish crater and we used different carriers to put the bacteria on, including peat, cellulose, um, sodium polyacrylate, uh, sprayed on bacteria and water as a control. And we found that a uh, peat with a low concentration of bacteria was the most effective and we increased the dry mass by 74%, <laughs> which would potentially be a 74% profit for farmers. So in conclusion, the results that we got from this project would be really beneficial to the agricultural and some industrial um, companies. So um, we, it's a potential 74 increase in the income for farmers and also uh, seeds that germinate faster are less likely to rot. So this can benefit in third world countries where the ground is very dry or else in places where the soil is very um, damp.